Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the things nobody told me about pregnancy video or things no one warned you about in pregnancy slash happy little surprises that you get during pregnancy that nobody sort of warns you about. So I have made a nice list of things that have surprised me during my pregnancy and I feel like these are things that nobody really tells you about unless you actually physically look them up in your pregnancy. So I thought I would share these with you guys today. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button to stay tuned for more content, mommy content, baby content, pregnancy content, health, fitness, food, everything content. Um, I would really appreciate it. And let's jump into the things nobody tells you about. The first one is morning sickness is not morning sickness. That is a complete and total lie. Um, morning sickness is all day, every day, feeling nauseous and crap. Feeling like you just got off a roller coaster or that you've just had car sickness. And this, this magical 12 week mark where your morning sickness will magically disappear, uh, complete and utter crap for me. Um, I am 33 and a half weeks pregnant and still have a little bit of morning sickness pretty much every day. It did get better as my pregnancy has gone on, but for the good beginning, probably 25 weeks or so of pregnancy, I was so sick a lot of the time, it was absolutely excruciating. So, sometimes morning sickness is not just morning sickness, and don't believe everything they tell you. Although, most people do have it finished by the end of the first trimester, so I fingers crossed that you are one of those people. The second one is, th is that you may gain a little bit more weight than you were expecting. So, I have watched a number of YouTubers who will just say, oh, I've gained the perfect amount of weight, my doctor's super happy with me, blah, blah, blah. And then I have seen a few YouTubers that have said, I've gained too much weight, it's happened, that's what happens. Um, and generally, you will lose it, as long as you are not eating ridiculously bad food. I mean, yes, you can give in to your cravings, you can have some bad food every now and then. Don't expect yourself to be the most perfect eating person in the whole entire world. You will have cravings in your pregnancy, and you will probably give in to them because you do not want to piss off a craving pregnant woman. But do not beat yourself up if you gain a few more pounds or a few more kilos or even a bunch more pounds or a bunch more kilos than what you were expecting in your pregnancy. Um, just aim to eat a fairly balanced diet for the most part. Enjoy those treats and you will lose the weight after the baby comes. Some people just gain a lot more weight. It is genetic based. Pretty much all the women in my family gained more than they were supposed to with their pregnancies and, you know, that's just genetics, unfortunately. My midwife is pretty happy with how much I've gained, considering I did have a lot of morning sickness, but I still feel like I've gained a lot of weight. And so it's it just happens and it's inevitable and don't beat yourself up about it. If you want to talk, if you want to watch a video specifically about um, someone who's gained a lot more in their pregnancy than they were expecting, please watch Aaron Williams' videos. She was amazing through her videos, her pregnancy videos, especially her ones in her 30 weeks, you know, 30 to 32 weeks, where she was getting a lot of hell from her obstetrician about gaining a lot of weight. And look, she just put it so bluntly and so perfectly that it happens and you will lose it. And she looks amazing now. She has lost pretty much all of the weight and looks fantastic, like super mum goals. The next point is stretch marks. Everybody just lathers themselves in creams and oils and lotions to try and prevent stretch marks. But let me tell you that stretch marks are majoritively genetic. You will get stretch marks or you won't. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of creams and lotions are not going to make a big difference. They might help a little bit in the amount of stretch marks that you get. They might help your skin be a little bit more elasticized. Um, don't scratch is a good thing because that will break down the skin a little bit and help stretch marks appear more quickly. But unfortunately, genetic wise, if you are going to get stretch marks, you are going to get them. And there's not a lot you can do. You can lather yourself in creams and lotions every day. But unfortunately, if you're going to get them, you're going to get them. Your boobs can leak during pregnancy. Obviously, you know, once you're breastfeeding, that's an obvious that you are producing milk. You're probably going to leak a little bit. But a lot of people didn't know that during pregnancy, a lot of women's boobs will leak. And that is because your body is producing colostrum already to feed that little human that you were growing. I have been lucky enough that I haven't had any leakage. And now I've said that, I probably will. Although I do seem to get little bits of 
like crustiness on the top of my nipples. I know TMI. Um, that probably is the start of colostrum. But don't freak out about it. Just buy yourself some, um, you know, breast pads. Pop them in your bras, and it's a good. It's actually a good sign of good milk supply. So. You guys should be pretty happy if you do get milky breasts, if you want to breastfeed. Um, and if you don't want to breastfeed, they will dry up pretty quickly. They'll feel a bit sore and engorged um, once the baby comes for a couple of days, but they will dry up. Another thing that is boob related is that your nipples get huge and they get very dark. And that is because your baby comes out pretty much colorblind, only sort of stark contrasts really stand out to them. They can't see a great distance at the beginning. And so you need a big target for them to be able to eat if you are planning on breastfeeding. And that is, that is what happens. Basically they get huge and they get dark, brownie, mine are sort of brownie red. It just happens. This is one that really appeals to me and I really wanted to share this with you guys because I feel like I watch so many pregnant women and they're like, oh, pregnancy is amazing, oh, it's butterflies and rainbows and it's wonderful and oh, 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 I just love being so cute and pregnant and I do not feel cute and you probably will not either. If you were not one of the sort of minute amount of pregnant women that just gain the perfect amount of weight and have tiny little bumps and look gorgeous, then you probably are not going to feel cute. And even they, I'm sure, do not feel great every single day. You are going to feel really self-conscious. Nothing's going to fit. Everything's going to look funny. You're not going to feel the best about yourself of all of your pregnancy. You might feel really cute. You might love your bump. You might love feeling your bump move and grow and all of the things that come along with that, but that doesn't mean you're going to love your body every single day. You do get cellulite in places you weren't expecting. You get sweaty. You get bloated. You get swollen. My face, my hands, my feet, all swollen. My wedding rings don't fit anymore. They don't look swollen to me, but when I try to put my wedding rings on, your feet get a lot bigger. My shoes don't fit. You know, my clothes don't fit. I have a very small selection of clothes that actually fit me in my wardrobe. And I'm not a big fan of buying a ton of maternity stuff. So I've just been wearing the same couple pieces over and over again. And that's okay. It is normal. You will go back to normal. You will feel a ton better a few months after the baby comes. It just, it's temporary. But it's probably going to happen and not many people tell you about it. Another thing that has really come quite obvious to me in my pregnancy is how opinionated people are and whether they've been pregnant whether they haven't been pregnant people like to voice their opinions on what you eat on what you look like on how big your bump is on how small your bump is on you shouldn't be eating that or why can't you eat that or you know a lot of the older generation get oh when we were pregnant we ate that it's like okay I get that but I'm following what my doctor or my midwife says um, everybody has an opinion and they, when you are pregnant, they all want to share their opinions with you. They think that you being pregnant is like a welcoming mat for them to tell you everything that they're thinking about you, whether it's, um, whether you look like you're having twins or whether you are really small or whether or not you've put on a ton of weight or how swollen you look or how unflattering what you're wearing looks on you or you shouldn't be eating that or you should be eating this or why does your doctor say you can't eat that people are just super opinionated especially on breastfeeding that's one that thankfully I haven't come across too much on but people are very opinionated about that as well um, you know breast is best and blah 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 I'm a big advocate for fed is best if you cannot breastfeed or if you choose not to breastfeed which is a personal choice and you formula feed your baby, that is 100% your choice. I am fed is best, but a lot of people will push breast is best. And people just have a lot of opinions and just like to shove them at you. So if you guys are pregnant and have had anyone shove a certain opinion down your throat, let me know in the comments down below. Some of them are quite funny. You will be uncomfortable. It is inevitable. Sleeping gets very uncomfortable. Getting dressed gets very uncomfortable. Picking things up off the floor suddenly becomes a huge challenge. The bottom shelf of my cupboards are like my least favourite place to be because I can't reach them very well and it takes a lot of effort. Getting off the couch even, getting out of bed, they all start to feel a lot more uncomfortable and a little bit like a workout and it is uh, only short lived so I will tell you that you know once you're not pregnant anymore and obviously if you have a c-section it's a bit different but if you have a vaginal birth obviously you're not going to be as uncomfortable there's not going to be this giant baby blocking you the whole time but just be aware that uncomfortable 
is just what you're going to be. Another thing is not only do you have to pee constantly, I feel like that's a pretty well-known pregnancy fact, although I think that people underestimate how much you need to pee, you will get to the point of very minimal bladder control, which consists of I will, you will have to pee and you will have to pee right now, um, out of nowhere, or the few times that I've had this happen, you will sneeze and pee a little bit. Bladder control is not great when you've got a baby pushing on it. Nothing fits anymore. Nothing. Even your pregnancy clothes that you bought for pregnancy will eventually probably stop fitting you. It's great. You will probably be emotional. This is a pretty well-known pregnancy fact, but I don't think people realise exactly how irrationally emotional you will be. You will cry at the silliest things. You will cry at ads on TV. You will cry. I cried because I saw a puppy walking down the road by itself and I started crying. Because I was like, oh my god, what if the puppy gets hit by a car? Blah, 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 blah. A few metres down we saw their owner, they were fine. But I just burst out crying. Watching ads on Facebook make me cry. Everything makes me cry. And everything makes me cranky. Just a heads up. My poor husband. And my final point is not so much a things people don't tell you about pregnancy, but more of a finishing moment for pregnancy. And that is that pregnancy is, like I said, incredibly emotional. And not every single bit of your pregnancy will be positive, unfortunately. There will be a lot of things that really challenge you. You will be tested to your limits. You really don't think you can be pregnant any longer. You don't feel like you can get bigger. You don't feel like this baby's ever going to come. Like... It, it feels like a long time. Nine to ten months is a long time to be growing a human and not feeling like yourself. And you will probably not feel like yourself for the majority of your pregnancy. And that's okay. Um, I do want to say that it is definitely worth it as you get closer and closer to the end. It seems so far away, but it is so close. And you are going to have this beautiful little human at the end of it. I just wanted to make this video to prepare you guys for what is coming, what to expect some of the negative things about pregnancy and some of them are just pretty funny like I look back now and I just laugh at some of them but your relationship is going to change your personality is going to change you are going to be a different person by the time this little person comes because you are growing a person and you're going to be responsible for a new person that you have grown you have created a life and it is an amazing experience it is truly incredible being pregnant feeling them move seeing them grow, hearing their heartbeat, it is amazing. And while not always positive, it is truly incredible. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know some pregnancy things that you may not have known before you were pregnant in the comments down below. I would love to hear them. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope it wasn't too negative. I did want to make light of the situation. I did hope it was a bit funny. And, you know, I wanted to share this with you. So... Have a wonderful day. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.